Let me do that math real quick. Ain't no way that's right. Hello everyone, I'm Simone Stanley, welcoming you guys back to another great segment of the HBCU NFL Report, where we provide you guys an update on some of your favorite black college football stars in the pros. So today is Tuesday, August 24th, and today was another round of cuts in the NFL. All teams were, to, were required to trim their rosters down from 85 to 80, and we lost one of our HBCU favorites. But there was a lot of good news that came out of today, so let's get right into it. Prairie View A&M alum linebacker Quentin Bell was released by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers earlier this week. Quentin Bell was drafted in the seventh round of the 2019 NFL Draft by the then Oakland Raiders. He spent some time on their practice squad before he was picked up by the Buccaneers December of 2019. He did appear in five games for the Bucks on their road to winning Super Bowl 55. He appeared in five games for the Buccaneers. So, you know, he was able to kiss that ring at the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, Quentin is only 25 years old. His best football days could very well be ahead of him. And that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a chance to make another team's roster. Okay? So, it's not over for Quentin Bell. And Quentin Bell appeared in the Tennessee Titans and Tampa Bay Buccaneers preseason game, he had two solo tackles. So, you know, he left the Bucks with a bang and he padded his resume, you know, when these other teams are looking for a linebacker to add to their squad. And now when we're talking about adding linebackers to their squad, we do have some very unfortunate news coming out of Cleveland. Montreal Meander, we reported last week that Montreal Meander was waived by the Cleveland Browns. He was actually re-signed by the Browns later that week. He got waived on, I want to say, Monday of last week. By Friday, he was re-signed, and that was like his 30th transaction with the Browns. Montreal Meander, a former Grambling State University Tiger, did suffer a season-ending injury versus the New York Giants on Sunday. He had an injury to his ankle, and now Montreal Meander will be out for the entire season as it looks right now. Very, very, very unfortunate news. Montreal posted on Instagram, basically saying he's down, but he's not out. You know what I'm saying? And he's a guy who has been through a lot of adversity in his career, and he's not gonna let that ankle injury stop him. So we're gonna continue to keep our eye out on Montreal Meander. And now that we got through all the bad news, we gotta jump right into some good news. So when it comes to good news, we have to start again with the Atlanta Falcons. We have to keep our eye on those dirty birds because they have two of our HBCU alum on their roster. The Falcons cut down from 85 to 80 on Tuesday and Keon Smith, an offensive lineman out of Fayetteville State University, and Chris Rowland, a wide receiver out of Tennessee State, still remain on the roster. The Falcons waived three offensive linemen now up to this point, and they have waived three receivers. And like I said, Keon Smith and Chris Rowland wasn't one of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's a positive sign for those two guys as they look to make the 53-man roster. Now, Chris Rowland is entering his second season with the Dirty Birds. He signed an undrafted free agent contract with them after the 2020 draft. He has been getting some play in preseason, but he hasn't been getting that much play. He's been getting a lot of his action towards, you know, the third and fourth quarter, which is not a good look. But like I said, he made the cut, so that's all that matters. So moving on, let's put our eye on Denver, the Mile High City. Interesting stuff coming out of Denver again this week. Our guy, Franklin Matt McCain III, better known as Matt, has made it through another round of cuts. And why it's so interesting to me is because the former Aggie, the defensive back called Miak Mac, hasn't played a single preseason game. Well, it's only been two preseason games. I'm so dramatic. But he hasn't appeared in either game for the Denver Broncos. So Mac is currently in a super crowded Denver Broncos cornerback room that features Ronald Darby, a Super Bowl champion, Kyle Fuller. They drafted Patrick Sertain, the second, supposed to be one of the best corners coming out of the NFL draft with their 
first round pick. They also have Bryce Callahan, who was their most productive corner last season. All of those guys are sure locks for the roster. Um, and that's a super crowded cornerback room like we discussed before. But like I said, Mac brings a sense of versatility that he can add to the slot. And the, the Broncos obviously see a lot in him because like I said, he hasn't appeared in a preseason game. Um, he's been hurt most of his offseason, but yet he made it through a second round of cuts. So that is super promising for Mac McCain. When it comes to the Chicago Bears, keeping our eyes up north, Lechavius Simmons, an offensive lineman out of Tennessee State University, that big blue, he performed very well in the Bears preseason game against the Miami Dolphins when he started at right tackle. He played very well protecting Justin Fields, but unfortunately, in the second preseason game, Lechavius didn't look that good. But Lechavius made it through the second round of cuts because there was a lot of Bear fans calling for Lechavius' head after that second preseason game. But, you know, fans don't make the final decision. And Lechavius made it through the second round of cuts. And not only did he make it through the second round of cuts, the Bears waved an offensive lineman and his name wasn't Lechavius Simmons. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to miss that name. So Latavius is looking up right now when it comes to the Bears. Brian Mills, now taking my eye down south, is with the New Orleans Saints. Brian Mills was originally signed with the Seattle Seahawks out of North Carolina Central University. He is now with the New Orleans Saints and he made his debut as a Saint the other night versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had two assisted tackles, two solo tackles, he looked decent to me. Um, he did get really, really, really juked out really, 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 really bad on this one play that we're not going to show. You know what I'm saying? We don't show the low lights here. But Brian Mills made it through the Saints' second round of cuts, which is really promising for him because he had only one preseason game under his belt and really only like two practices under his belt with the Saints. So guys, that's your news when it comes to your favorite HBC players and the pros. A lot of different schools represented. Um, Quentin Bell, hopefully, and he surely will find himself on another roster. It's safe again for Keon Smith and Chris Rowland when it comes to Falcons country. Of course, Mac McCain looking like a favorite with the Denver Broncos made it through another round of cuts, even though he hasn't played a snap of preseason football. You know what I'm saying? Like, how promising can you be? He must be really. Um, when it comes to our guy Latavia Simmons, you have your ups, you have your downs, you know, it's sports, he ain't going to look great every game, and you know, obviously the Bears recognize that because he made it through another week. Brian Mills obviously made his debut with the New Orleans Saints, and of course, we're going to keep our prayers out for Montreal Meander as we hope he has a speedy recovery. Guys, hold on tight. And make sure you turn your notification bells on here because, guys, 27 players will be cut between Tuesday, August 24th, and Tuesday, August 31st. 27 players will be cut across 32 teams. Let me do that math real quick. Ain't no way that's right. 864, 27 times 32, 864 players will be cut between Tuesday, August 24th, and Tuesday, August 31st. So make sure you turn your notification bells on here at HBCU Game Day so you don't miss a single update of your HBCU NFL report. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe and keep rocking with us. Also, make sure you let us know what player you're following and what team you're following the most as we're about to get kicked off for another great NFL season. I'm Simone Stanley, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!